In this video, let me show you the difference between the data stored using jQuery data method and custom data attribute. So, you can use data method as well as data attribute to store some data, but there are some differences between the data stored using data method and the data stored using custom data attribute. So, to illustrate this, I am using the same example which I have used to explain the data and remove data methods in a previous video. You can actually use just two elements and explain it, but I am going to use the example which I have used in my tic-tac-toe game project. So, let me add the required elements first. Let me have a div element with id container and I am going to add nine div elements within this main div with id container. I have already added the required jQuery file online. Now let me add the code that is the jQuery code to add the nine div elements within this main div. So let me add the script section and let me add the document.ready event. So dollar document.ready here let me add function and within this I want to specify different IDs for the nine div elements. So I am going to run a for loop for where i equals 1, i less than or equal to 9, i plus plus and within this loop I am going to append the required elements. So here what I can do, I can write dollar, I want to append it within this div element, right? So I can access it using its id dollar hash container dot append and I want to append div elements. So div, I want to have an id like s1, s2 up to s9. So I can specify s then plus i which means while running the loop it will be s1, s2 up to s9. Then I want to have a common class name as square. Then I also want to add a custom data attribute for all these nine div elements. So what I can do is that I can specify data. This is for custom data attribute. Then I can specify the name of the attribute. Let it be data position. And I want to set its value as 1, 2, 3 up to 9. So what I have to specify, I can just specify plus i. Okay. Then I need to close this one. So I can specify this. And also I need to close the div element. So slash div. Now at the end of this loop what will be there? There will be 9 div elements within this main div that is having the div with id container and it will be having ids like s1, s2 up to s9, common class name square and also a custom data attribute with name position and value 1 to 9. Now let me save this and show you we will not be able to see the output because we haven't styled them still we can check the elements right so here we are not able to see the elements though they are there let me expand this see div id container with id s1 class square data position 1 so what happens here the dome elements are actually modified because all these dome elements are having a custom data attribute with name position and values 1 to 9 and these values are stored as string values, right? Next, I'm going to store data for each of these elements using jQuery's data method. So within the loop itself, I'm going to add data named odd even. If you have already seen my previous video, you might have seen that part. So here I'm going to add a data named odd even. And based on the value of this i, we will save odd or even for all the nine div elements. So how I can do that? Let me specify if i mode 2 equal equal 0 which means that this number is even. In that case what I am going to do is that let me specify dollar hash s plus i which means hash s1, hash s2, hash s3 or up to hash s9 dot data the name of the data is odd even you can name whatever you want and if it is equal to zero means that number is even right 
So I am specifying event here. And in else part, I can specify odd. Hope you understand what I am trying to do here. I am using the data method. Here we have used custom data attribute and here we are using the data method. So for this, let me copy and paste it here and specify odd. Now let me save this and check the console or the console this element section. See here the dome is not modified. We are not able to see the data odd even here, right? We are just seeing data position which we have set using custom data attribute. We are not able to see the data odd even which we have set using jQuery's data method. So when we store some data using data method, it is actually stored in jQuery's internal data cache. So the DOM is not modified. Now let me just add some CSS so that we are able to see the elements. So let me add the style section. And let me first style the main container. And let me set a width of say 400 px and margin of say 20 px. Then I want to style these nine div elements so I can access them using their class name. So let me specify dot square and let me specify a width of say 80 px, height of 80 px again, border of 1 px solid black, then a padding of 20 px and also let me specify float to be left so that they will be displayed as in a tic-tac-toe game. You can actually just use two symbol div elements. This code was already there with me so I am reusing it. Okay. Now let me save this and check the output. See, we are seeing nine div elements within the main div with id container. Okay. Next what I am going to do is that I am going to use the data method to retrieve the data which is set using jQuery's data method and also using the custom data attribute. So the data method is actually used to set as well as get the required data of the matching element. So I am going to do that. So what I am going to do is that on the click of the div element we can write the code. So dollar dot square that is whenever any of these nine div elements are clicked I want to display the data okay so dot click let me specify again function open and close parenthesis open and close curly braces and here let me write just let me try to alert the values so let me first try to get the data set using custom data attribute position plus I need to get it for the currently clicked element, right? So dollar this dot data of position. So here how we are specifying it, we are using the data method and then specifying the name of the data attribute, right? So this is first opening parenthesis. Then this is for displaying position. And after this, we want to display the odd even data as well. So let me put a plus. I want to display it in a new line. So slash n. Then the name is odd even. Right. You can name it as you want here. Then what should I display? I need to display dollar. So I don't want to have a brackets here. Right. So let me remove this. So let me remove this as well as this bracket it was an extra one okay then here what I can specify okay I need to have dollar dollar this then here I need to specify dollar this dot data of odd even this is the name of the data now let me try to save this and show you the output so here in both the cases we are using the data method to retrieve the data set using data method which will be stored in jQuery's internal data cache and also the data set using custom data attribute. Now let us try to check the output. Let me click here. See we are seeing position as 5. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and odd even as odd. Right. Then let me click here. See position is 6. 
and odd even is even. Why 6 is even? Then let me click here. Position is 1 and odd even is odd. So we can use the same data method to retrieve both the kinds of data. Next let me try to remove the data that is both set using data method as well as the data set using custom data attribute. So let me add a button here. Button with ID btn remove and text as well remove. Now let me have dollar hash btn remove dot click. What should I remove? Actually I want to remove both the data. Right? So let me add function and within this let me try to specify dollar dot square dot remove data. That is the method offered by jQuery to remove saved data. Let us check what happens and also let me have an alert message like data removed successfully. Just to give some hint to the user. Let me check the output now. Now the button is here. Let me click the one. Position 2 odd even even. Position 3 odd even odd. That is right. Now let me click remove. We are seeing data removed successfully. Okay. Now let me check. See we are still seeing position 1 but odd even as undefined. So what happened now? When we specify remove data method only the data stored in jQuery's internal data cache is removed. That is why we are still able to see the data which is set using custom data attribute. So to remove this data what we need to do is that we have to use the remove attr method offered by jQuery. That is let me specify dollar dot square dot remove attr and I need to specify the name like data position that is the name of the attribute right here we have specified the attribute name as data position we cannot do it by just specifying position because we need to specify the full name which is data position now let us check the output let me click position 5 odd even odd let me click remove data removed successfully and let me check see position also undefined odd even also undefined so when we remove data we cannot do it just using remove data method because it will remove data which is set using the data method offered by jQuery that is the data stored in internal cache. If we want to remove the data which is set using custom data attribute we have to specifically use remove attr method and then specify the name of the attribute. So in this video we have seen the difference between the data stored using custom data attribute and jQuery's data method. When we store it using custom data attribute, actually the DOM is getting modified, but here it does not happen that way. Then to retrieve the data in jQuery, we are using the same data method for custom data attribute as well as for data set using data method. And for removing data, only for this one, we can use remove data. That is for the data set using data method we can use remove data and to remove the data set using custom data attribute we need to use the remove attr method offered by jquery